Oh my God, stand back. You cannot be serious. A box of time pass. Couldn't stop me, period. I be killing every track. So the slayer never stops. I just bang, bang, bang. Like the way his brother's pops. Will I take a brother's spot? Don't cop. Say niggas don't paper cover rock. Don't rock, break scissors. Don't I say the sickest shit. Make a critic shit. In his bridges, make a British bitch. Send me titty fish. Go show to your birthday. Gave a 50 cent. No bucks, no bank. Hello. Are you tired of losing games because you don't play good defense? Are you tired of losing games because your teammates don't play any defense? Well, if so, pick up a phone and dial 410-STRAPS, and the operator will be with you shortly. What's good? Yeah, it's your boy Lamont here with another video, and I'm giving you guys an ultimate defense tutorial. I've been giving you guys a lot of offensive tutorials as far as like dribbling and combos and stuff like that. Now it's time to show you guys some defensive tips and for part one today we're going to talk about pick and roll defense bro like pick and roll defense is just you feel me but before we really get talking into it first i just want to get i'm only on this screen to show you guys the defensive settings so you're going to go to your options go to controller settings make sure you put your defensive assist strength on zero so you can have more control of your player automatic shot contest put that on always bruh so what always means is that you can play defense like you can contest shots without pressing triangle now we're gonna get into the video all right bet so i've been wanting to make this tutorial for a long time because it is it is really sad and painful when you lose a game because the opposing team is just doing screens fake the fake screen pick and roll cheese that 2k got in the game now what's so wrong with picks is like it's sometimes you can plant your we know it's broke because sometimes you can plant your feet and they call a legal screen sometimes they just run up and just press circle and it's no illegal screen so it's just completely broke but it's ways around it. it's ways to beat it now this might seem like the most easiest and simple thing to do especially for people who watch basketball you feel me but Believe it or not, it's a lot of people who is really too difficult for them to identify how to switch on screen. So like I said, in the background, you're just going to repeatedly see a bunch of examples of how to switch on screen. Seeing is believing, as well as how I'm about to give you these few, few tips before we end the video. Few tips. So tip number one is, um, no matter what game mode you're playing, it could be any game mode, all the teammates on your court, all your teammates need to identify who their teammates are guarding like who man is who that's going to allow the switch to be easy and not all over the court trying to find out who do i pick up y'all need to identify that as soon as the game starts all right that's the point guard guy most likely the point guard going to be getting a lot of screens to go around the screen stuff like that and then the big man should, you feel me they should be focused on looking at that so what you need for number two is always stand on the opposite side of the screen when you see when you identify your player that you're guarding going up pressing circle you need to be on the opposite side of that waiting for your teammates man to come around the screen and you automatically pick him up now here's the problem with switching on screens the problem is when you switch people hold l2 you can't i repeat you can't hold l2 while switching on screens why because 2k is trash and it will drag you to your original man that you are guarding it's going to drag you to wherever your arrow is pointing and the arrow don't switch instantly to the person that you switch to so you can't hold l2 so you got to get used to controlling your body and not sliding to play the perfect defense and wait for that arrow to switch now three there's a window where you guys can switch back but that's going to take a while that's going to take chemistry and repeatedly playing like i could do that with some type of some players that i play with because we've been playing 2k for so long together it's just natural to know when to switch when not to switch yeah. now four of course tip four is communication bro you need communication if you're not on the mic it's gonna be diff more difficult to know when to take this um pick up or not because there are times where pick dodger work and you can like literally just go around the screen and, and still be on your man and then but it'll be like your teammates still switched anyway when they didn't have to so you got to communicate that now another thing is like i said you had to identify the person you're guarding and when you see them press circle you go on the opposite side now as far as your teammate he needs to identify that somebody is setting the screen for him and he needs to not run into the screen at all 
He needs to sit there and wait. And he picks up the person that is setting the screen. And it's that simple. That is how it works, bro. So you got to follow those steps and keep doing it repeatedly, repeatedly. Like I said, great examples are in this video. Now, what you got to understand is this is, is basketball, even in real life. And this is 2K. And people are going to score on you regardless. You can't stop somebody 100%. But this can minimize... You shouldn't just be completely losing to, you feel me, just straight pick and roll. That's tr that's sad. Something ain't right. That's completely trash, and that's sad. Your defense is trash if you're just losing to complete, complete pick and roll. Now, of course, they going to get it off sometimes still. Like I said, it's going to work for them sometimes, but it shouldn't be every single play. You should be stopping it, and that's really something that grinds my gear. I hate losing to regular bums that are just going around the screen and then your man or my man is cooking because he's going around the screen and he just wide open for three because nobody's picking him up and then make it look like you getting dropped off the whole time you're not i know everybody experienced that so like i said it's a team effort to play defense and to stop screens and with these examples and with these tips you guys should start getting used to it especially if you try and play with me i'm a defensive person first that's what that's what straps is for. That's what we stand for. That's what Team Strap Life is all about. Defense, 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 and more defense. So, um, hope I didn't forget anything. Hope I didn't leave out any tips that I was thinking of because it's just straight out the top. But switching on screens is very important, guys. And you guys just need to learn it, bro. Over and over and over. Keep practicing. And I'm telling you, you're going to get way more W's. W's in any game mode. W's in park. Pro-Am, play now, team up, it don't matter what game mode you play, you're going to get way more wins if you can identify, you feel me, uh, how to switch on the screen. So, that's pretty much it. Hope this video helped you out. If it did, give me a thumbs up, and we're going to get that part two popping.